Well, the South African has developed a new toilet that uses less than two litres of water a flush. This could save around 700 litres of water per person every month. Now, normal toilets use between six and 12 litres for each flush and account for 30 to 40 percent of a household's water use. Now, Cape Town civil engineer Johnny Harris designed the micro flush toilet. He joins us from our Cape Town studio to tell us more about it. Johnny, a very good morning to you. And uh, tell us about this toilet that you've actually uh, come up with. What does it do different from other toilets? Yeah, morning, Yveka. Um, so it's called the Aramlu, and the Aramlu is inspired by the Aram lily. Um, so those of you who are familiar with that flower, it's a beautiful white flower which has got a natural vortex shape. Um, so the vortex is designed to bring uh, the insects into the heart of the flower. And so we've taken that design, both the function and the beauty, um, into, our, an, into our toilet design. So it's a vortex shape. Also, we've changed the, the trap, so it's the way that the waste is, um, is, is taken out of the toilet. We've changed that design to make it way more efficient, um, which means we can flush on, on less than, than two litres very easily. Okay, well, I just want to make it clear to our viewers who are actually watching that visual that what you've used there is actually uh, a type of soya paste. It actually isn't uh, what you think it is or what it looks like. So just so you know. So um, how did you come up with the idea? Yeah. I mean, were, were you naturally, were you just inspired by this flower? Were you sitting one day looking at a vase and said, hmm, that would make for a nice shaped toilet? Um, it, it started the other way around, actually. So, so I work, my company is called Isidema. Um, Isidema means dignity, um, and the whole, you know, the, the concentration of water is life, sanitation is dignity. And so we've been working for a number of years to try and um, bring um, a high quality of sanitation to South Africa and, and to Africa. And so we, we started about four years ago on a, on a, a low flush pilot project, um, whereby the water was poured manually into the, into the toilets to flush it away. And that was a great success, and that was a WRC initiative, the Water Research Commission. Um, but the, the feedback that we got all the time from, from, our, from the households was, we love the toilet, but we want to be able to flush it. Um, and so then we set about trying to find the right way for, for achieving the efficiency um, of, of that poor flush design. Um, and and, and as, we, as we developed that design, we looked to nature. Um, and, and nature is often, often gives you the best answers and the best inspiration, and, and then we we looked at the Aram Lily, um, which we really believe has, has given us the, the key to, to our efficient toilet. Now, understand that this toilet can be used in your ordinary suburb, or it can be used in informal settlements, it can be used in, in rural areas. How have you made that possible? <coughs> yeah, very much so. I mean, the, the design from the outset is, is designed to be a high-quality product. Um, we really believe in, in equity and sanitation, so we believe that everyone should have the, the same level of service. Um, it's a close couple design, so if you know a, a toilet that has a cistern sitting on the back, um, the plumbing is conventional, so it'll plumb into any household. Um, and so for, a, for, for an affluent household, they can take out their toilet and put this one in. Um, for an area that's, that's, that's less serviced, um, because of the less water use, um, it could be flushed with grey water, um, but also there, there's, a, there's greater options for downstream treatment. Mm. Um, so you don't necessarily need to take it to a sewer. Um, there's a number of downstream options um, to, take the, to take the waste away. Now, Johnny, you must be aware of the problems we've been having in, in, in schools. You must be, uh, be aware of the, of the tragedies we've seen of children falling into pit latrines. Will this, is this possibly a solution to what's happening there? Is this something that can be used in schools like that? Yeah, we, we really believe so, um, and we are talking to um, an organization at the moment specifically targeting the school sanitation sector, um, and, you know, if those of you who be familiar is, is with, with the old VIP pit latrines, sometimes you have quite a wide opening, and that becomes a, a danger and a hazard, plus you've got the issue of an odor. Um, with, with, with our toilet, like, like any conventional flush toilet, there's no way that anyone can fall through that but also your odors don't come back out. Yeah. So it's a much more, more pleasant, dignified um, sanitation solution. Um, and, and yeah, equally applies to schools, to, to, to affluent households, to shopping centers, um, anywhere that, yeah. that needs to save water, but also anywhere with, with limited water availability. So I see here that you, you already have a, a plastic version that has been tested and is in use. You're working on a ceramic version. So will this be affordable then? Is it something that South Africans in those outlying areas will be able to afford? 
No, absolutely. I mean, the, the aim is to, to bring sanitation to the nation. Um, and, and within that, we, we want to make sure it's affordable. Um, and, and certainly our investors have got that same passion. Mm. Um, so there's no reason why this, this product won't be um, a similar price to other toilets that are on the market. Um, but but the, the people who, who do take this toilet will, will have the, the knowledge and, the, and a very quick payback period. You know, I don't think there's many investments these days where you can get payback within a year. Um, but because of the water saving and, and the cost saving that's associated with that water saving, you know, if you take these toilets out, you'll save that money back within a year and then you'll keep on saving, not just financially, but saving also in terms of water. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. That's the inventor of the Aram Lou, it's called, after the Aram Lily, because of its shape, Cape Town. Civil engineer Johnny Harris designed that micro flush toilet. Thank you very much for your time.